heard last year that they were going to have a 250 team. Um, I wasn't quite sure what I, my future was with Geico at the moment. So I drove over here and I met with, with Jeremy, I met with the mechanics, and I just felt the awesome vibe while I was here. I'd say right before Vegas, I knew that Jimmy was one of the guys we wanted on the team. For me, I just I got results at the right time. I put my, you know, I put my face out there at the right time. I came in here, I met Jeremy at the right time. You know, just watching him, I felt like he was a feisty rider, kind of always um, trying to get up, get up there and get better results. He hasn't really, I think, done what he's capable of. That's why I was excited to try to get him on the team. And as soon as uh, we got our Suzuki deal done, I called Jimmy and we made the deal happen. And he signed it, I'd say, within two days. So yeah, it was really cool. It's just so cool to see a team adding more spots where a lot of teams are downsizing. These guys are adding mechanics, adding engine guys, adding riders, and they're growing and they're trying to grow the sport. And uh, I'm very proud to be a Suzuki rider and a JGR rider. And I've been running in the streets all day. And I've been looking at the stars all night. It got me thinking, how can I get away? It got me thinking about a perfect day. Yeah, my trains, my trains, uh, it's hard. It's a big workload during the week and Lots of running, lots of rowing, gym work, core, riding, cycling. We basically touch base on every aspect of the of this sport because the sport's so physically demanding. The older I get, the more I learn and, and realize how beneficial the training off the dirt bike is. And I feel like I'm really gaining big strides lately and I'm just thankful for it. It's actually probably the closest team we've had, the group of guys we have right now, how they all work together. And, I mean, they go eat together. They really do care about the other guy, how he rides, and they, I, I like that they you know, give each other credit when, when they should and probably give them a hard time when they should, so. Yeah, and, and with Justin Hill, too, he's, he's out there after he's done with his motos yesterday, and I'm doing my 15-lapper, and he's cheering me on and telling me how to hit some corners a little better. And Yeah, that's what's cool. Hill's been really good at pushing all these guys, and. I put uh, Justin Hill on the west because I feel like he has a shot to win and I'm putting Jimmy D on the east coast because I feel like he has a shot to win. Really I would just like him to get a few podiums and uh, just fight every weekend and do the best he can. For me just doing 15 solid laps, getting out front and building on what I did last year then uh, I'll get that first career podium and hopefully get that first career win and then uh, everything will snowball from there and I feel like once I step on that podium just one time then uh, Everything will change. It got me thinking about a perfect day. And I can tell you something we both know. We can hustle, but the streets get cold. And I've been thinking, how can I get away? It got me thinking about a perfect day.